There are more and more people in Europe who try to learn to appreciate poverty more and more. That's very good news. Because poverty, like doctor, is a living antique. Okay, actually, if the quality is good and its stored uh, storage conditions are good, actually, the tea can get aged very nicely. But as you know, that there are two uh, major groups in the poor tea. One is the sun poor, that means the raw poor. And the other one is the ripe poor, so poor. Some people like the ripe poor because it's easy to get hands on it, even when it's just freshly harvested of the year. But sun poor, however, is more natural and actually can decay the age. You will notice the transformation in terms of flavors and the taste, much vivid with the sun poor than so poor. So the sun poor actually, it is the one is really like a little antique. But however, in the poor tea, has a very rich minerals. On the other hand, however, in the yin and yang, it's more yin than yang. Only due to the post-fermentation, the yin and yang balance start to shift. So if you drink the sempur, the uh, not very old sempur, you will probably will find aggressiveness absorptions of sempur, even the astringency and the bitterness. So which one you like the best, I would suggest to listen very carefully to your body and understand your conditions first before you jump into the ocean of a poor tea or any other tea. I hope the following suggestions are useful for uh, poor tea lovers. The first one is because it is in nature, so it is suggested to drink the poor tea after eating, but not before eating. Second suggestion is always, I would suggest to choose the aged, naturally aged poor tea instead of uh, drinking the young one. Okay. Um, certainly because of my physical conditions, my energy levels, then I would choose more of this. But if you said, if it's a really very good old uh, old trees like gu shu, senpu, Sometimes I find it's pretty pleasant to drink, even it's one year or two years old as well. So it all depends on your physical condition. And the next reason, another factor you probably have considered is the timing. It is suggest to drink in the summertime instead of winter time. As you know that we are in, in the process, in the period, stepping off from winter into the spring. So at this moment, the energy from the heaven and the earth is still pretty cold, it's pretty in. So at this moment, is this the best time to drink poor tea or not? Try to understand how's your physical conditions, what is your energy conditions. Interact with the natural energy. And the last and the least, try to drink the poor tea during the day instead of the night. Because the minerals and also it give you a lot of refreshing energy. So it will give you a lot of refreshing energy that allow you to think better, function better during the daytime. But if you also you still have that one in the evening, you probably will have a sleeping problem. However, in the evening, I do like to drink aged so poor and simple, some of Sometimes I drink the very aged sempur. All the poor tea, particularly the sempur, when, when I just receive them, when I receive them, I like to keep them away. I don't see it, I don't touch it, I don't know them for at least six years. So I know exactly how old I have it already. Okay? And I enjoy the transformation together with that tea. Tea is all about for how to serve your health, how to integrate in your health lifestyle. Tea is not about to prove 
how capable you are able to, to drink a tea. That is not the case. This is Mei Lan from Belgian Chinese Tea Association. Wish you all a very pleasant and healthy day.